Hello YouTube, this is Detroit Borg and in this video we're going to unbox the MacBook Air SuperDrive. This is an external USB powered uh, optical drive for the MacBook Air or Mac Mini server. Both devices don't have internal optical drives so this replaces it. Now I've gone over how to use remote disk to borrow an optical drive from a computer on your local Wi-Fi network. However, there are some limitations to using remote disk. One of them is installing Windows with a boot camp manager. And there are also some other restrictions to copyrighted material playing over a network. So for example, movies, music, and some games will not work with remote disk at all. And of course, remote disk only works if every computer is on the same network. Now let's just take a quick look around the box. We can see that it requires a MacBook Air. This is not compatible with any other computer besides a MacBook Air or a Mac Mini server. It doesn't say that, but the website says that. We also have the model number, MacBook Air SuperDrive, designed by Apple in California, assembled in China, model A1379. Of course, on the side we have an Apple logo. On the top we have nothing. On the other side we have an Apple logo. And on the back we have another MacBook Air SuperDrive. And of course we see $79. So let's go ahead and crack into it. So we have these little tabs to pull up. Comes right out. So we have the super drive itself. Let's put that aside and see what's in the box first. So we have some other literature, including the instruction booklet. We have uh, the limited warranty in Spanish and the limited warranty in English. Now let's go ahead and take the plastic off. We got a little tab here to pull off. It should slide right out. Okay, on the bottom we have the Apple logo and we have this nice round rubber pedestal so it's flush but it's got a nice grippable texture on it so it sticks to a table the rest of it is a hard plastic we have the slot for the DVD of course the rest of it is aluminum with the very short cable coming out of it again this is a permanently fixed USB cable this is how it's powered there's no external power supply needed now it looks like any other super drive slot on a MacBook an iMac or a Mac mini I noticed the uh, fabric around the slot is actually a dark color instead of a gray color like I see on my iMac or my Mac Mini. Of course the rest of it is just a solid piece of aluminum. Now in Apple's description they say it's barely larger than a CD case. So here I have a CD case and indeed it's about the same size. Of course it's a little thicker. If you take the disc out and place it on the top you can see there's barely any room for the disc and the components inside. So let's go ahead and connect this to the MacBook Air. So here we have the MacBook Air right next to the Super Drive. If we compare the two, we can see that the uh, SuperDrive is actually quite big compared to the MacBook Air, at least the 11-inch MacBook Air. So if you compare their size, you can see that the SuperDrive is actually thicker than the MacBook Air. Now let's go ahead and make the connection. All right, there are no lights or anything indicating that it's been powered. I don't hear anything. So let me go ahead and install a disk. Now you can see it loading on the screen of the MacBook Air. Now I should mention this is more sensitive to motion so if you pick it up and move it around while the disc is spinning and in use you may cause it to uh, skip or cause other malfunctions so, so you want to make sure that this is on a stable surface and is not moving around too much. Now many people have asked why is there an eject button on the MacBook Air when it doesn't have an optical drive? Well uh, it's exactly for this purpose so if you had purchased one of these you can use your eject button so let's go ahead and show you how that's done.
Once again, guys, this is Detroit Borg taking a look at the MacBook Air Superdrive. Thanks for watching.